hello youtube welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video and welcome back to another storybook reading video because i just love making these and this story i really love it's one of my favorites and i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do so the book that we're going to read to be reading today is called the count counts a party featuring jim henson's sesame street muppets The Count Counts a Party. So this book was originally, originally published in 1980. So as we go through the pages, you're not going to see Elmo because he wasn't around back then. One day, the Count sat in his castle amidst all the things he liked to count, and he was very sad. Woe is me, he said. I cannot think of anything new to count. I have counted everything. I have counted dogs and cats, frogs and bats, plants and rocks, pants and socks, fleas and mice, peas and rice, chairs and clouds, hairs and crowds. I've counted big, I've counted small, there's nothing left to count at all. He sobbed. One sob, said the count. And he sighed it. One sigh, said the count. And one teardrop. Alas, what is there left for me to count? He thought of everything he could possibly count, beginning with the letter A and going through the alphabet. Aardvarks. I have counted, ants I have counted, he said, apples I have counted. He went on until he reached the letter P, parades I have counted, parasols I have counted, parrots I have counted, parties I have not counted. That's it, parties, shouted the count, startling his pet bats. I have never counted parties, Eureka! I will give a party for all my friends on Sesame Street, and I will count the party. Yay, said the bats, fluttering about his head in happy circles. Party, 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 we're going to have a party. And the count began to prepare for his party. First, he cleaned the castle from basement to belfry. He borrowed a broom from the witch next door and swept all the dust into a big pile, and then swept the big pile under a big rug. One sweep, two sweeps, three sweeps, four sweeps, said the count. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Then he took down all the dirty old cobwebs and hung up clean new cobwebs. He even told his bats to take a bat bath in their bat tub. Liuba, he said to his number one bat, don't forget to wash behind your wings. You too, darlings. Don't worry, said the bats. We'll get squeaky clean. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Now, said the count, I will have 19 friends from Sesame Street at my party. That makes 20 friends counting me. And I love to count me. So I will need 20 plates. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah and 20 party balloons. Ah, ah, ah. And a party hat for everyone. 20 party hats. Ah, 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 ah. Do you guys like my count laugh? <laughs> and what else? Asked the count. I know, something to eat. First, he baked a chocolate layer cake, and then he counted the 20 lovely layers. Nobody should eat just cake, said the count, so we'll have some fruit. Twenty apples, twenty, and twenty peaches, twenty, and for the big eaters, twenty watermelons. Then he set the table with twenty plates, and it was time for the party to begin.
The Count let down the drawbridge. On the front path to his castle, he laid out twenty welcome mats. Then he waited for his friends. He waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. Nobody came. Woe is me, said the Count. I have waited twenty minutes, and nobody has come to my party. What have I done wrong? Woe is us, too, said his bats. No party, no party, no party. Wait, said the Count. I know why nobody has come. I forgot to invite them. And, like a flash of his own lightning, he sat down and wrote twenty invitations, one for himself, too, saying, Stop everything and come right away, one, two, three, to my castle for a party. Come as you are. Do not even change your clothes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Signed, your friendly local count. He gave the invitation to his bats, who flew off to deliver the invitations to Sesame Street. When Ernie and Bert got their invitations, Ernie was in the bathtub, and Bert was waiting to take his bath. They started right out to the Count's castle. Cookie Monster was eating a box of delicious cookies when he got his invitation. He ate the invitation, too, and then dashed off to the party. Oscar got his invitation and ran towards the castle as fast as he could. He planned to tell the Count, I don't want to come to your rotten party. <laughs> oh, Oscar. When the amazing Mumford got his invitation, he was pulling rabbits out of his hat. So when he set off for the party, he was followed by a trail of rabbits. Big Bird was playing hopscotch, so he hopped all the way to the party. Super Grover was flying around looking for someone in distress when Liuba delivered the invitation. He sped to the castle with his cape streaming behind him and landed in the moat. Twenty minutes after he sent the invitations, the Count looked out the castle door and saw the whole gang coming up the path. Aha, said the Count. My friends are coming. I knew I could count on them. Yay, said the bats as they flew back into the castle. It's party time. Wait, not so fast, my pets, said the count. I must count everybody. So while everyone waited patiently, the count counted his guests. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Only nineteen? But there should be twenty. Who is missing? Oh, of course. I forgot to count myself. How silly of me. I, the count, make twenty. Twenty playful party people. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And twenty batty bats, shrieked the bats. Strike up the band. As the band played the Transylvania polka twenty times, everybody danced and ate and danced some more and ate some more. The party lasted for twenty hours, and the count was very, very happy. One, one wonderful party exclaimed the Count ecstatically. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the end. So this was the cast of Sesame Street at the time of this book's publishing. So yeah, I still wish that Sesame Street Productions made more books like this that are illustrated and aren't just pictures of the actual puppets, like photographs, um, but rather hand-drawn and also that has more reading involved, more complex stories like this one, and aren't just like for really, really young children and toddlers, but oh well, 
maybe I'll find more vintage books like that one. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this story, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys again in the future. Bye-bye.